in our last video we show you how to make a sr latch by using nand gate and after that video we show you how to convert this sr latch to a sr flip flop right what is the difference between sr latch and flip flop the difference is in sr latch we don't have any clock so we also called sr latch a without clock sr flip flop okay and sr flip flop mean we have a clock pulse okay so what we did we convert this sr latch to a sr flip flop by adding a clock pulse in today's video we will show you how to convert this sr flip flop to a d flip flop we all know that this one is the sr flip flop then what we need to do just connect a not gate and add it to the r right now this one will be d then you can see that this sr flip flop is converted to a d flip flop right i just add a not gate we need to make this d flip flop by using nand gates right so we cannot use a directly not gate so what we need to do we need to make a not gate by using a nand gate that means just short the two input of the nand gate then it will be as a not gate right in the d flip flop we have 1 2 3 and 4 right but in 7400 i see we have only four nand gate but to make a d flip flop we need total of five nand gate right and this one we already made in a sr flip flop in the last video so what do you need to do just connect the extra ic and in that one we will use only one nand gate to make a not gate and then we will connect that not gate in s and r then this circuit will be able like a d flip flop okay so let's go to the breadboard in our last video we made this sr flip flop okay here i will connect the source you can see here my two inputs s and r the yellow one is s and this purple one is r right s and r both is in one state that mean s equal to 1 r equal to 1 and you can see this green led is turned on that mean the clock is also one right so clock is one s and r is one so that's why you can see q and q bar both is equal to one right that pin this circuit is okay no problem now we need to add extra nand gate 7400 ic right so here you can see this is a nand gate so i connect a nand gate in this board right so here you can see this one is our pin configuration of a 7400 ic right here we need to make only one not gate so one nand gate is sufficient what we need to do we need to short the number 1 and number 2 pin then this gate will work as a not gate but as we use this ic we need to give the power supply in vcc number 14 pin and number 7 pin okay so first connect the power supply So this one is the number 14 pin so i connect it with the one and this one seven will be the ground i connect this one with the zero okay no problem now let's build a not gate i will test that one also so first i short the number one and number two pin you can see here number 1 and number 2 pin short okay that means the number 3 pin will be our output okay so then the input will be number 1 pin no problem now you can see here now as there is only one not gate and the sr flip flop is completely working fine we don't need to check this not gate we will directly check by using the d flip flop if you see in the screen you can see here that for the d flip flop the s and r will be shorted by the not gate that mean the input of the not gate will be the s and the output of the not gate will be the r right that mean we need to take out the r from here this the yellow one is the r okay and i connect this r with the output okay you can see here when i connect the r with the output 
the output q is how much 1 and the s is 0 why now s and r is sorted with the not gate that means if s is 1 that means r is automatically 0 and this is the s pin so we need to connect it with the number 1 pin the number 1 pin is our s right so you can see here the not gate this circuit this ic is the not gate right in this ic the first pin the first one i connect with the s terminal right the s is the number one pin of the above ic okay so the s is connected with the not gate and the output of the not gate is connected with the r with the help of this yellow wire right so that pin in the circuit currently s is equal to one this purple one is equal to one so that pin s equal to one r equal to zero why as i connect a not gate here so s is one r equal to zero right and you can see the output is one and q bar is zero right so now we call this s as a d right so that means this purple one is now the d okay fine to check this flip flop what we need to do we need to write down the truth table for the truth table i first i write down the clock pulse and d and the q q bar okay for the clock pulse zero d is don't care the output will be memory but for clock is one if d is zero then output will be zero and clock one if d is one then output will be one right so we need to satisfy this truth table at first now you can see the clock is one right as the green led is turned on okay so as the clock is one first check with the value of zero that means d is equal to zero so you can see when i connect the d with the zero then you can see the output q is equal to zero the red led is turned off and the q bar is one okay so we can say the one condition is satisfied now the another one if d is one you can see the output is one and the q bar is zero okay no problem now let's check with the clock zero if clock if i change the clock from one to zero then the output should be one as it should be memory state right this white one is our clock pulse right now the clock is in one that's why the led is turned on okay so take out this clock and connect it with the zero so you can see here the green led is turned off okay so that means clock is zero but output didn't change as the output is one in our last state okay so now as the clock is zero if i change the value of d output should not be changed right so just change the value of d from one to zero you can see the output is still one and d is zero but output is still one why the clock was zero in any flip-flop if you change the clock from 1 to 0 then that state will be called as a memory state that means whatever the change in input there will be no change in the output and i will be show you in the circuit okay now you can see the d is 0 right so if i change the clock from 0 to 1 then output should be 0 right and the q bar will be 1 let's see that one you can see when i change the clock from 0 to 1 the clock is 1 you can see that one the led is turned on right q is 0 as the d is 0 and output is 1 so we can say the truth table of the d flip flop is already satisfied so we successfully made a d flip flop by using the only nand gates okay so today we convert the hr flip flop to a d flip flop by adding a extra not gate right now the question is can we make a T flip flop by using the SR flip flop? We can use extra gates. If yes, please write down in the comment box and tell me the value of S and R. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me. Bye bye.